Yeah. So basically, welcome, welcome, welcome. Jesus, saw her right there. That she, oh, okay. Yeah, I just started. But go ahead, tell me real quick. Entertain everyone else. Okay, so that's like Jason's mom. So okay. They like um, killed. Uh -huh. And now he's off to show everyone else. Jason is? Yeah. So I just, my son's watching Friday the 13th. And he was just surprised that I've never seen it, but I don't watch stuff like this, so. There's that. So, you're getting a little Friday the 13th in the back of your love video. <laughs> Any hoozy, it's all good, right, bud? It's all good. So, and all these animals are like hogging the bed. All right, I got the cat over there. Not even my cat. <laughs> Anywho, let's see what's going on with my little water berries for the first two weeks of March. Maybe someone's name is Jason. Maybe someone's name is Jason. Does anybody live in the end? Someone always wins. Dies. Something, right? I don't know. This is the one where he wears a mask, right? Yeah. No, 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 I think I'm confused. Jason wore a mask. Friday the 13th, that's Freddy Krueger. Friday the 13th is not Freddy Krueger. It's not? No. Friday the 13th are Jason's? Yeah. Oh. Okay, any who's it? Dear universe, but I'm so glad 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 I'm so you got the four earth, so you're holding on to something. I, I feel like that's too many, but I, I feel like you guys have been in this energy actually. Um, so let's see if we can get you out of this energy. You got the nine of water. That was a quick switch, right? If, if only it was that easy. <laughs> if only. Got the six of air, six of fire. Sorry, that's coming out for like anybody. Um, whoa, I dropped it. What was that way over there? Can you possibly hand that to me? I know you're like sicker than a dog right now. Can you reach that? Oh, mama can. Do you need me to? You're the best, right there. You can't get that. All right, I'll get it. Hold up. Oh, my mama. Your mom is getting old, making all those stretches. <laughs> I know, I'm almost 50. What am I going to do? Anywho, you got the six of air, okay? Um, so holding on to pain, holding on to sorrow, holding on to something, you know, that's upsetting, okay? Um, you got the nine of water. So this is you hopefully stepping out of this, okay? Um... You got the six of fire. All right. So it looks like to me, you're, you're stepping out of that, the other energy and you're stepping into happy go lucky energy. You got the eight of fire, which is a message. Okay. And the six of air. So this message that you're getting or you're going to deliver has to do with clearing up karma. Okay. So that can be a, a fantastic thing. Um, you have no major kind of on the board. Bottom of the deck, messenger yeah. of water. Um, let me pull you a lesson. <clears throat> Aquarius. First two weeks. Aquarius, Aquarius. First two weeks of match. Aquarius, Aquarius. My little water berries. All right, NB bottom of the deck trust all right you so here's the deal you're going through a challenge okay but you're not it's kind of like why like why me why am i being challenged it's that type of energy where it's like it's not just you it's it's everybody everybody goes through challenges and i think you might not relate to other people's challenges because you're always feeling like yours are, are more superior maybe okay i don't know why okay but apparently when you have a challenge it seems to be ex extremely harsh sometimes and that's not awesome okay clearly so um 
I want to find out about this three of air. Let's find out what this three of air. Because i got to get you guys out of this. It looks like you're going to manage to do it on your own. That flipped real quick. Nine of air. <clears throat> and the ten of air. Holy shit. Alright, so it's you're just expecting the worst. Okay, so it's like self-filling prophecies and stuff so please don't do that you're having a hard time sleeping you're worried about it you're stressed but they're telling you at the same time this is the end of a difficult situation embrace the change okay and expect better things to happen now so you're recovering some of you could be recovering from addiction too so you, this might not be happy go lucky this might be you know recovering from alcoholism something like that okay but you need to understand that it's coming to an end but it's also you and your thoughts putting yourself there. You're putting these images there, okay? So you're cr you're creating your own your own battle right now because you're not looking at it in a different way to get yourself out of this battle, out of this challenge, okay? And it's your lesson right now, this challenge, okay? So it's, it's not going to be easy, but I feel like you guys have been in this challenge for a while, so I think it's definitely linked to ego too. And obviously it's delivering a message. It's either forgiving yourself or somebody else for something because this is karma. Okay. So tell me about this eight of fire. Tell me about this message. So to me, you've been holding on, you know, to pain and stuff. You got a message. It looks like it's going to go straight to the queen of swords or you got one from the queen of swords, vice versa. Okay. Um, looks like you might have got a message from the queen of swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Okay. And it, it, it's comic, okay? It's like six and six. You're blocked in. You're blocked in, okay? So I don't know if this is your energy or their energy, but tell me about the four of earth. I want to find out what you're holding on to. Obviously pain, something difficult. Tell me about the four of earth. Okay. Too many came out. So it's the three of pence. It's some type of contract with the six of fire again. So it's like you're battling your ego. There's a contract here and that flipped to four of, four of cups. So it's like there's a contract here and you're bored with it. But it's like that doesn't make any sense because you, you're holding on to something that I think I think you're just bored with yourself. But there's clearly some type of contract here that you are most clearly aware of. And it, it brings happiness. Tell me about the Nine of Water. <clears throat> or it could be you fighting that addiction too and being like, I don't want that drink. Okay. Um, tell me about the Nine of Water. So to me, this is saying things are going to get better more than an addiction. But it could be both. Okay. Um, it's the Three of Hearts. So Nine of Water, one more. I grab that but we already have that so you know the ace of swords and it was reversed so it's you're not you're not talking about something or you have no clarity when it comes to whatever makes you happy so this is this is tough this is tough because I don't know if you can you know try to clear this up yourself I, I feel like you can because you have you have a message that came in, and it's just you're, you're surrounded by karma, okay. So if you can confront it, confront it. If you can't, try to forgive yourself or somebody else from whatever harm, whatever sadness took place. Because it's time to step out of this. You're at the end of a difficult situation. Acknowledge that you're going through something challenging. Acknowledge it. Own up to it. Think about it. Just don't let it sit with you. Don't let it eat at you. Tell me about the six of air. So to me, this is you guys going towards the queen of, queen of swords or, or vice versa. It's a ton of wands. So whatever it is, it's, it's heavy. It's heavy on your hat. It's heavy on your mind. It's heavy on your hat. I don't know if you feel like you missed an opportunity. Your ego's getting in the way. You're going through a challenge and you're like, why? Why is this so hard? It's not that anybody else's challenge is not as difficult. It's just it's a different type of a, a challenge. I guarantee it's, it's, it's a type of challenge where 
only so certain people can relate to this relate to this type of challenge okay but you need to remember that you're coming out of the end of this okay so you're gonna start sleeping better feeling better eating better feeling better about yourself okay it's only a matter of time some of you are already out of this I can feel it and then others are your you've been in it for a long time you know, some of you will come in right out of it but this is this lays heavy on your heart and your mind it's a deep it's deep in it and it has to do with the queen of air or this is you you you're holding on to pain sorrow you're holding on to something extremely deep tell me about the six of fire At the bottom of the deck, you had trust, all right? Trust your inner voice, all right? You're coming out of the, the restrictment. So you had 8, 9, 10, too. So you're coming out of feeling restricted, okay, which is which is great. It's, it's stepping out of the ego. It's, it's stepping out of that. So this, I think a lot of you have been going through an ego battle too lately, and that takes a long time to kill an ego off, okay? It's not easy. Um, let me pull your best advice. Best advice, my Aquarians. You have a new journey here. Okay, you have a new opportunity to confront confront karma. All right. So you have the five of air and the three of water. So it says you made an unwise choice in the past. Learn from your own mistakes. All right, move on from this situation. All right, review other people's motives and your own motive. All right, so. And then you got the three of water. It's time to celebrate a wedding, a celebration, a birth announcement, a graduation. It's just a need to have more fun, which I felt coming anyway. So it's just kind of confirming that that's here for some of you. And if when if it's not for you there yet, quite yet, it is. It's coming. Okay, you will step out of this energy soon. I feel like. You most definitely have to partake, though. Yeah, see, you're in hermit energy still. You have to partake in this, ladies and gents. Okay? You need to ground yourselves and partake. You got some heavy, heavy karma here. And it's, and it's, it's weighing on your heart and your mind. Okay? So, if you have a chance to confront karma, you know, don't be, deal with no bullshit. But at the same time, be compassionate because her hand's out. And this is heavy, heavy energy. All right, so please watch your other zodiacs and just know that this is subsiding. Okay, I just love you guys so much. Have a fantastic couple weeks. Bye, guys.